So today I built three potato towers. I'll show you how I did it. So first you're gonna need to find yourself a pallet, some old fencing roll and pieces, some puck board, not necessary though, some straw, that is necessary, some dirt, that is also necessary, and of course potatoes. So I prefer Chep hardwood pallets. Um, they're just a lot stronger than your typical pallet. The fencing I used for all my pastures is 47 inch field fencing. And at the end of rolls, you always end up with kind of little pieces. So uh, that's what I'm using for this. So I'm just tying it in a loop about the size of a pallet, 40 inches wide and diameter and just bending the wire over kind of thing to secure it and a cir circular pattern can withstand a lot of outward pressure if I'm going to fill it with dirt and straw and potatoes and things. So I doubled up the loops, tied it all together really good so it's secure and you simply just put it on a pallet. To protect the pallet I'm checking my junk pile for some tin or something. I'm going to settle on this puck board so cutting it to the width of a pallet 40 inches wide and just going to Put that on the pallet with a few screws so that the pallet doesn't rot away and I can use these pallets for a few years in the future. Now I should secure the wire mesh to the pallet so I had some of these clamps laying around. I'm just putting four on each cage mesh. Uh, so when I do go to harvest all I do is take out four screws, topple the pallet over and pick all the potatoes up. These pallets are movable, I might move them around, I need them to be secure. Each tower is going to have a different variety of potatoes, Yukon Gold, Russet, and Norland. I'm putting roughly 20 pounds of seed potatoes in each tower. I'm using these labels that kind of etch when you use a pen so they don't fade away in the sun, and labeling them so I don't forget. Now that the towers are completely built, I'm going to haul them down to my dirt pile, kind of a dirty area that I can mess up. So taking everything that I need down there, straw, potatoes, the towers, my dog, everything that I possibly could need. Jess is kind of excited, so she's going to help, starting out with some straw, and then being by the dirt pile and having some equipment, instead of shoveling dirt, I get to use the skid steer. But then I put the dirt in too fast and collapsed one of the crates, so there's my first fail of the day. But uh, luckily, I just am able to yank it back up, and it's perfectly fine. Might not be as pretty as it could have been, but uh, it is what it is. So spreading that dirt around evenly and putting our first row of potatoes. Kind of six inches-ish from the outside. And it's also good, we found out, to kind of pile straw around the outside to hold the dirt in place as you go up you don't want your dirt falling out but kind of making a ring of potatoes and just layering straw and dirt and straw and dirt roughly every 12 inches is a layer of potatoes in the ring so uh, 12 inches vertical and then spacing on the potatoes about six inches in from the outside and then six inches apart for the seed potatoes roughly it's not an exact science. Potatoes are fairly forgiving. But yes, we found putting straw kind of around the border and then dirt in the middle. The straw helps to hold that dirt from falling out on us as we're trying to fill it up. Doing this on a pallet and securing it to the pallet, they're all portable. So if I want to move them close to a water source, I could even move this into our greenhouse. Uh, with a machine or a pallet jack, move them around wherever you want. You can even turn them if you want the sun to hit them in a different spot. So on a pallet is extremely versatile and securing it to them, it's actually fairly steady to transport them around. We figure with all of this straw and dirt in there, it's once we get it moist, it's actually probably going to hold the moisture pretty good in the middle of it. So we're experiencing a drought right now and we figured we'd give this a try. Put it right next to the hose, right next to where we walk by so we can water them with the rest of our garden and things and 
give it a go. We're still going to do potatoes in our in-ground garden in a smaller area um, so we're not wasting a whole bunch of water in this extreme drought that we've been experiencing. So these things are a little bit wiggly wobbly but I carried it all the way up a hill, can make corners, can actually go pretty quickly and there's no chance of it falling over. But it is vitally important to screw the cage to the pallet to secure it or it will topple over on you. So now I just give them a really good drink, soak them through and through and keep them watered and that's that. So the next video I do on this will be harvesting. I take out the screws, push them over and pick all the potatoes, put them in crates to store them for the winter. Right Bruno? Right. Do you like potatoes? I like potatoes. What's your favorite kind of potato? Mashed potatoes, scalp potatoes, baked potatoes, potatoes on the barbecue, lemon potatoes, potato soup, french fries. Hey, you like it all too. Anyways, we'll see you next time.